Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is part 17 and in this episode I'm going to be focusing on the sliding door, the rear hatch and the bumper and the side panel caps. Um, I'm going to kick off by fitting the repair section that I've got for the sliding door and I've also got to make up some sections for the sides as well, so let's get cracking. Now those of you that have watched previous episodes will know that right at the start I um, shot blasted these doors, epoxy primed them and I welded on a new bottom repair section. Right, this is the repair section and it fits on there like that. Right. There's lots of different ways of fitting these I'm sure. Um, you could just put a, a lap joint in here or butt weld it uh, or you could joggle the edge of the repair panel or joggle the edge of the set panel that's already there. Um, I think what I'm going to do is put a small step in the panel that's already here and put it underneath the repair section like that. And the reason for that is, is that um, if you get any condensation or moisture on the inside of the van running down, it doesn't, it can't run into the joint and rust it out from the inside. Um, even if you seam sealed it, but it's quite difficult to do that because there are parts of it that are hidden. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a small step in the bottom of this section and then put it underneath the repair panel and then weld it along the seam. So the first thing I've got to do is put a step in this panel. Um, I could use a joggler but mine's broken because I bought a cheap and cheerful one that didn't last five minutes. Um, so I'm going to make up something that will allow me to put a small step in this. I'm going to start by marking on here um, roughly where I want the step to be.
with self tappers. It's nice and flush. Um, it's equal lengths on either side. So the door is square. Um, what I need to do now is weld this seam. But I've got to be careful because I want, don't want to warp it. Uh, the original panel had some really bad repairs on it and there was quite a lot of warpage and they used a fair amount of filler in order to take that out. Um, but I want to keep this panel as flat as I can. So, as I say, when welding it, I need to be careful. I need to keep minimum heat on. Um, I'm going to use an airline to cool each weld down after I've done it. And I think I'm just going to have to take the time and do it as carefully as possible.
sections made and welded in. So that's going to be my next job.
to dry and it feels dry so I'm now going to unclamp it and have a look at it. Now the reason why this straight edge isn't coming off I remember is because um, after I'd finished filming yesterday um, I noticed that there was a slight dip in the panel so I put in a um, self-tapping screw through the straight edge and into the um, panel just to pull it all tight so I need to remove that now
some more uh, glue just under these bits here to pad the to give the centre and the bottom of this panel a bit more strength. And also to turn it over. I've got a couple of dents here. They're quite deep ones that were filled with filler, but I don't want to fill them with filler. I want to try and get these dents out. Um, a bit difficult because I can't get to the back and it's a long way in through here. So I'm going to have to come up with a, a way of pulling them out. So these are the dents that I'm talking about. You can see they're quite deep. So I think what I need to do is weld a piece of metal into them and then find some way of pulling them.